All right, boys and girls, just got done mowing the grass, and what's it mean? It's fishing time, so I'm gonna grab the fly rod and try to go down there and catch some bluegill and some bass in the pond. I'm trying to figure out what I want to fish. I want to do, um, I want to fish a popper today, so I'm just kind of looking at my selection here. A lot of good looking stuff here. I want something small enough. I had a subscriber reckon, recommended these little spiders. So I think I'm going to start with that. And I'm trying to find something that's kind of small. Something white. Pretty cool looking. Throw that one out there. And go with the black. Gotta have two sides of this thing. Let's see what's on this side. Uh, these are more like bass poppers. Those are Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete. That's a really good one. These are gonna be for bass. It's definitely not gonna work on bluegill. So I'm just gonna go these options right here. I'm not going to fish a booger. Before I get started, um, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Nathan Purvis who sent me a comment on my bluegill fly fishing video and he recommended to do like a strip set. So problem I was having was I was setting up and every once in a while um, I would miss the fish and my indicator and rig would go up in a little cypress tree that's right by the edge of the pond. Um, so he said when that float goes under to just do a really hard strip set and then when you feel the weight of the fish Then sweep your rod a little bit and that'll keep um, Keep your float in the water if you miss that fish you can just uh, leave it and the fish will come back and grab it Here's a little lake. I'll be fishing It's a lake right outside my house. It's about four and a half acres Walk down the levee and kind of look at it and the water's up. So we got a lot of bushes in the water and there's a there's some kind of like slimy grass that's been growing this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start out with this little guy right here and see what happens. And really, I've got too long of a leader on here. I've got a leader that's set up for fishing a strike indicator. Um, ideally, you want about five foot of leader when you're throwing some kind of popping bug, but we're gonna make some adjustments on the cast and we should be okay. So let's make our first cast and see what happens. that little thing along. Thought maybe there'd be some fish in these bushes. Just keep moving. Just hold your fly line in your hand right here and slide down the bank. There we go. Fish on. Might be a bass. No, nope. looks like a green sunfish. Pretty good one too. Look at that. It's a nice green sunfish. They got a big old mouth on them. on that little thing. Nice fish. Look at the pretty colors in that. Got that white coloring there. Different shades of yellow and orange. All right, let her go.
Another little green sunfish. That's it. Actually, the last one was a lot bigger, but I'll take it. Little guy, it's cute. Same, same popper. So I've got some little fish pulling on the feathers of this thing. So I'm gonna try to make adjustment. I'm gonna throw out, make my cast, and let it sit for a little bit. Might have been working it too fast. Just gonna let it sit and let those rings die down. Give it a little twitch. Just wait. And nothing. Probably need to change this, but I'm gonna walk down a little bit further. Get down here to the corner where there's a lot of bluegill. I've seen them already on beds and stuff down here. So if I throw it down there and I don't get bit, I know I definitely gotta change. There we go. Little bluegill. That popper all the way in its mouth. really sucked it in. I'm about to do a little surgery on this guy. Boom. Same spot. Look at there, there's a little bass. Yeah. There we go. Catch a little bit of everything on these poppers. A little bluegill, a little bass. There we go. Getting down here to the bluegill juice. Make a nice little cast and let it sit for a minute. Boom. Fish on. Suck it down too, man. Look at that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie on that spider before it gets too dark. I'm running out of time. Let's try to find that black one. There we go. I'm gonna try this black one with the orange legs. I'm gonna tie that new swirl knot. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's on my channel. It's a real easy knot. Except for when you got low light conditions and you got five pound test. So just running your line behind there. Coming across the front, back in that little loop there. Pinch it, pull it tight. Take your fly, run it through the back of that loop. Get it around all these little legs and stuff. Grab that loop. And grab that little tag. Probably can't see any of this, but put a little saliva on there and just slide it down. New swirl knot. Great little knot. Just cut that excess off. Okay, back in business. Come on, fish. There we go. That's a good take. Threw it right underneath that cypress tree. A nice little green sunfish. I like these because they got big mouths. Alright. There we go. Beautiful little fish. little black spider with the orange legs okay there's still some bluegill on beds down here and it's a little bit tricky because I've got this cypress tree behind me so I'm going to have to really focus on my casting make my back cast really short might just be able to row cast this thing in there I don't know just kind of flip it out there and see what happens there we go didn't take long. Missed him. 
Okay, you probably can't tell, but all I'm doing is I've got this tree behind me. So I've just got to make these little short kind of roll cast. So I don't even have to do that. The one right in front of me. Look at that. That's a bass. Nice little bass. Getting bigger. Got me all wrapped up. I'll tell you what, fly line is a little bit of work, but it's worth it. Oh. Broke me off. Took my ant. Well, that's the way it goes. Let's see what else I got in here. I think I got a yellow one. Okay, I went with like a yellow chartreuse spider because I was being dumb on that bass that I caught. Actually, my leader's got some kinks in it. It needs a, need a new leader, but I'm out of time, so we'll just take our chances. Forgot I had five pound test and was holding that bass up and it starts jumping around and it doesn't hold up. So we're gonna make a cast with this and see if it, see if something happens. I'm thinking I'll get bit really quick. This thing's really bright. Same thing, I gotta just make a little roll cast over there. This one's kind of sinking a little bit. It's kind of a subsurface. That was a bite. Didn't take long, flip it right back out there. Should have tried that little strip set that Nathan was talking about. Get too excited though. There we go. Dang it, missing them. Just let that thing sink a little bit. Gotta keep stripping it because it wants to sink. I'm gonna have to strip set with this. So I missed it. There it is. Got him. Strip set. And just pull your rod up. And there'll be a little fish on the end. Another nice little bluegill. On the yellow. This, like I said, this is more of a subsurface. It's not floating. The other one had some foam in it. Now I could put some, some floating on that. But I've only got a little bit left to fish. That's a pretty bluegill. Really dark. Make a little side arm roll cast. See if we can catch a few more before we get to dark. Sloppy cast, guys. But it's working, so I'm not too worried about it. Just doing little short strips. And you'll see your line jump. The short strips. Sometimes you can even pull it like that and I'll grab it. go a little bass catch all kinds of stuff on these little things that's fun this swirl on it right here whoa that was crazy see that Cast. About out of time, folks. Let's see if we can catch another one here real quick. There we go. Another nice bluegill. Beauty. It's a beauty. It's a beauty, mate. That orange belly. So. So I'm on a five weight, nine foot fly rod. It's a blast. Yeah, might be the best one of the day. Strongest one of the day for sure. It's a nice one. It's a good quality fish. I'd have enough for supper if I was keeping them. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Watch your line, you'll see it take off. There's a bite right there. There it is. So that's that little strip set. Mosquitoes are bad. I have to go in there and start to chew on me. Another nice bluegill.
These mosquitoes are out of control. Game hardly stand, stand still. Here we go, another nice one. All right, I'm just about out of time. Tied on this little woolly worm. It's gonna sink real slow and see if I can catch a few more. It might float a little bit, I don't know, until it gets wet. Yeah, it's floating. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. There we go. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a good one there. Another nice bluegill. Look at that. It's a little stud, a little chunk. Wow. Fatty. Took it right off the top. Beautiful fish. A little woolly. Just doing kind of a little flip cast here. I can't really do a back cast. There we go. Ah, came off. A little flip cast. Let it set up. Boom, fish on. Feels like a better fish. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's a nice one. Real nice one. Look at that bluegill. Boom. That's a keeper for sure. And a little black and orange ant. Shout out to a subscriber. I can't remember who he was, but he suggested this. Thanks, peeing. Beautiful fish. Let it go. Okay, that's it, man. They were still biting. It was getting dark, but the mosquitoes were starting to take over, and I couldn't hardly focus. Caught quite a few fish. That was about 30 minutes of footage. You know, I was out there and mowed the yard and went out there in about 30 minutes, caught those fish. Um, Bluegill are fun. They're usually, they're almost always biting. You know, the bass get kind of finicky this time of year, but, um, you know, get a fly rod. Like I said, I was throwing a nine foot, five weight fly rod and caught them on that little spider, little popper, and then a little woolly worm. Didn't seem to matter. As long as you're around them, you're going to get bit. It's a blast. So let me know what some of your uh, favorite bugs are for catching a uh, summertime bluegill. I'll leave them in the comments section. I had some guys say they like spiders and um, one guy said he uh, caught a lot of fish on a uh, you know top water popper or whatever. So let me know. Let me know what some of your favorite stuff is. Um, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. I got 500 subscribers finally. Stoked about that. And until next time.